Today I'm going to go over Outriders news, patch notes, game preloading, cheaters, and much more. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. We have a lot of things to cover in this video because there have been a lot of things that are happening today, which is March 25th, 2021. But before we get into the video, I just wanna let everybody know that we are currently having a giveaway for three, I said it, three full digital versions of Outriders and details to the giveaway will be towards the end of this video. So the clock is ticking. There is one week until the release of the full game of Outriders, and there are still a lot of things to do in order to prepare. That's a little bit of foreshadowing for you guys. I will put timestamps in the description so that you guys can actually go to the topic that you are interested in, or you can actually just watch the entire video. Your choice. Let's start off with the patch notes, and I will put a link to the patch notes in the description box below if you would like to read them for yourself. So. With the release of Outriders, we will indeed be getting a day one patch. Quote, this is a patch we're hoping to have ready and integrated into preloading even before launch. If everything goes to plan, you won't even have to download this on day one, but there is a possibility that this patch will release on April 1st and will therefore require an additional download, end quote. With this patch, it includes bug fixes and improvements which focuses on the latter sections. Performance improvements for pacing and shuttering, camera smoothing as well as frame rate improvements for cutscenes and dialogues. The PC will have the option of 30, 60, 90, and 120 FPS for cutscenes, while the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S will be locked at 60 frames per second, and the Xbox One and the PS4 will remain at 30 frames per second. Now there are patches to the game that the devs didn't have enough time to get to for the day one patch, but it will come soon after. These include controller adjustments like dead zone adjustments, acceleration settings and legacy layouts, loading time improvements for the previous gen consoles, AKA the Xbox One and PS4, more performance improvements for co-op, and one of my favorite things from the patch, a crossplay friends list and invite system across all platforms but this will require you to be using a Square Enix members account, which you can actually link to your game. Bug fixes like lore collectibles bugging out on secondary characters, and there are more optimizations that will be arriving within the coming days. Next, let's talk about preloading and launch times. If you're on Xbox, preloading will be available starting today, March 25th, 2021. If you are on PlayStation, either four or five, Preloading will begin 48 hours before the game is released. As for Steam, preload option may be available next week, and as far as the Epic Games Store, preloading is not possible at this time. Next, let's go over launch times. There will be a rolling midnight unlock for all consoles. For the USA, that means at midnight of April 1st Eastern Time, the game will release at the same time for Pacific, which would be 9 p.m. on March 31st. For the PC and Stadia, a unified global time release will be used. The game will release on April 1st at 1700 BST, which is 9 a.m. Pacific time. The times were chosen to make sure that the, quote, maximum amount of support and partner staff are on hand to deal with any launch date issues, end quote. So, be prepared to be waiting in a queue on launch day. Yes. However, it will be totally worth it, I promise you. So, what will be changing from the demo version of Outriders to the full game? Well, let's go over a few highlights. First, lots of demo content bug fixes. Balancing between items, mods, enemy stats, and loot drops. Crossplay will no longer be in beta and will be turned on by default. If you don't want it on, then just turn it off. But if you turn it off, you will not be able to match make with people who have it on. DirectX 12 will be the default on PC. And one of my favorite changes from the demo to the full game is that the devs have added a mass mark function for all of our items instead of marking them individually. What this means is that you can highlight all of your items at once and delete them all at once. Now, obviously you don't want to delete something that you want, so you would uncheck that. Thank you, P3, 
PCF for that. You just made my life in Outriders that much better. There have also been improvements to the cover system and the traveling voting system when used in a group, and they added info on internal cooldown mechanics for mods to their descriptions. Now, let's talk about item restoration for all of those who lost their legendaries, like me. This is a one-time deal for the global population of Outriders that is being taken care of now as part of today's maintenance. If you are one of those unlucky Outriders like myself to wake up one day and have some of your legendaries missing, the devs are fixing this now. They will be restoring any legendaries that were lost before March 22nd. This restoration will only apply to legendaries, so no epic or rare gear. Now, the reason why this had happened was because when players were farming too fast, it prevented the game from triggering the auto save cycle before the farming run reset. Or players would crash out of the game either before or after they picked up the legendary. Now, let's get into the good stuff. People cheating and hacking the game. Serves you right. So, at a time of the demo when it had reached 2 million players, the devs have found 200 players that have been cheating. Mm -mm -mm. This includes one person who actually gave themselves 600 legendary weapons. You see, the thing is, we only have 30 weapon slots in the demo per character. 30 weapon slots times 6 character slots is 180 plus 18 for the three weapons that each character actually carries, which turns out to be 198. So, in theory, you can have 198 legendaries in the demo if you actually grinded that out. Since we don't have access to the stash, which is technically our vault, to move weapons from character to character, all 600 weapons would either be on one character or spread out between the six. Either way, that shit would not go unnoticed. So, what is Square Enix and People Can Fly doing about this? Well, they had this to say, quote, We trust that the percentage will not grow by much as we move through and beyond launch, but below are steps we will take to ensure that legit players will not have their fun spoiled as a result of cheaters, end quote. There will be repercussions, and repercussions will be account-wide, not character-based. You will not be able to matchmake with legit players. Matchmaking will definitely take significantly longer, but you will still be able to play alone. In the future, a watermark will be discreetly visible on your HUD so that the gameplay footage created on that account can easily be identified as coming from a flagged account. In other words, the world can see you as the cheater you are. So you better not post any of your videos. <laughs> Furthermore, all accounts will be checked on day one and on a regular basis and on regular intervals for evidence of cheating. Any account found to have been cheating will be permanently branded with that watermark. However, if you cheated in the demo and you wish to go into the main game unbranded, then you need to delete every character that you have on your account in order to get a clean slate. Do not, and I repeat, do not carry over any progress from the demo to the main game, even if you did the clean slate. So if you cheated, your best bet is actually just to start on day one fresh. Now, if you wanna get technical on what is considered cheating, then the devs got you covered. First thing, intentionally running the game on PC without easy anti-cheat, which is EAC. Modifying game files to enhance a character's level, skills, inventory, etc. Personally, stay out of the game files, and then you won't have to worry about anything. Unless you are data mining, but that's totally different. Next, externally modifying game time to reduce time dependent features such as vendors and challenges. So, for all of those who thought you were smart to exit the game, change the time on your PlayStation to go back into the game in order to reset the vendors, yeah, don't do that. That's considered cheating using a trainer program or similar to gain advantages within the game, and using gameplay altering programs such as aimbots or wall hacks. Now, individual players who are found to be being regularly kicked by multiplayer hosts shortly after joining may also be manually reviewed as an additional anti-cheat, anti-grief safeguard. 
using performance tweaking software such as Riva Tuner, for example, to improve a personal game experience is not considered cheating. Farming is not considered cheating, even though the amount of battering that that captain underwent could be considered unethical. Rip captains. Okay, so let's all be little smart boys and girls and start listening to that thing that we don't talk to that much called our conscience. And if it seems like you shouldn't do it or you have to question it, then don't do it. Unless you act totally impulsive, then still don't do it. <laughs> And last but not least, what about the Hells Rangers gear? How do we actually get it? So, the Hells Rangers gear will be available in your stash, which is right across from your hammock, for anyone who owns it. The gear is locked at level 10, which means that you need to reach level 10 or reach certain world tiers before you can actually equip it. Also, the devs have put preventative measures in the game so you don't accidentally sell or dismantle the gear. Shout out to Soy Kitten, for asking the question on Reddit. One more thing that I wanted to clarify when it comes to the Hells Ranger gear that I had misspoke on in my Hells Ranger video that you guys can check out in the card on the top right of the screen or at the end of this video. If you do not pre-order Outriders, then the Hells Ranger pack will be available in the future, but you will, I'll say it again, you will have to purchase it. So I apologize if I had given out the incorrect information, but I am trying to make it right now. That is everything that I have for you guys in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, or if you just want to chat, we can do that too. So you made it this far into the video and you want to know the details about the Outriders giveaway. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and put your platform of choice in the hashtag giveaway section of the Everything Outriders Discord. That is all. You don't even have to subscribe to my channel in order to participate in this giveaway. But if you did, the support is greatly appreciated. The giveaway will go until Wednesday, March 31st, 2021 at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. A link to my Twitter and the Discord are in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.